When you're conducting marketing research for a custom decoration business, it's a good idea to break it down into four sections. Your competition, your suppliers, your product line, and your actual customer base. Now let's look at each one of these sections and how you can actually use them to promote your business and grow sales. First, you have your competition. A good way to look at your competition is through a SWOT analysis. So a SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Essentially, you have an internal and external analysis within the SWOT analysis. So first you have strengths. It is the actual strengths of your business. What are you good at and, and can you continue to be good at it? At it and it, you know, essentially what are your core companies that give you a competitive advantage over your competition? Then you have your weaknesses. What are you not exactly good at, but you probably could improve upon or you need to prove upon to stay very competitive. Those are your internal. Then you have your external analysis, which revolve around your opportunities and threats. So the opportunities really, you know, one of your highest costs are opportunity costs. Making sure that you are spending your time wisely and your money in marketing dollars to get the highest ROI possible. Then you also have your threats of essentially, okay, what is the competition doing? Can they potentially take more of my marketing uh, share? And really, what am I doing to essentially still be as competitive as possible? So conducting a SWOT analysis will really give you a nice internal and external analysis of how you fit with your competition and how you're gonna compete with them. Next, you actually have really your customer base. Uh, what do they actually want? What can they actually afford? Uh, really, what is your primary and your uh, secondary target markets? Uh, your, your, your customer base is really gonna revolve around what custom decoration products and services you offer. If you offer just screen printing or embroidery, you're gonna only be really offering, uh, fulfilling certain customer demands uh, in certain products. Uh, if you outsource certain products and you really offer a plethora of different custom decorations, products and services, uh, you can really kind of obtain a higher customer base. So when it comes to your customers, you really wanna do a lot of uh, research as far as once you've identified who your primary and, and secondary target markets are, what exactly uh, makes them unique and how can you market to them specifically so you get the highest possible ROI. And when you're thinking about your customers, you really need to be thinking about the product line itself. And when it comes to your product line, you really need to do R&D as far as how does it feel, how does it fit whenever you're offering apparel products. And how you often have to do this is actually buy blank products as samples and from there make decisions as far as what your product line will actually be and offer. Uh, this will also help you actually price them um, and then having the sample will also help with the, comes the actual promotion and, and closing sales. Your products are really going to be dictated by the suppliers that you work with so it's not a bad idea to constantly be looking at new suppliers and really what different products they're uh, offering. Realize that suppliers are always changing their product line, growing and, and, and adapting. So while you might not want like one supplier this year, a year or two from now, maybe they've gotten a much better website and better products and better pricing, and now they're worth uh, using. So whenever you're doing marketing research, remember you have to constantly be going back to these different uh, departments within it and making sure that all of them are, are really as, as good as they can possibly be. Uh, products change, suppliers change, your customer base change, and, and your competition is always adapting. And, and you really want to keep a close eye on the competition, uh, whether they're a direct competitor or an indirect competitor, and try to mimic what they're doing if they're successful or don't do what they're doing if they're not successful. If you have any questions on how to conduct marketing research for a custom decoration business, please do not hesitate contacting us. Thank you.